wow this is so cool okay hi everybody um today we are checking out the this place called changi board work board walk as you can see it's a board and behind me is a sea this video is basically just to test out the difference between um the difference between the iphone as a vlogging camera as well as the this DJI Osmo Pocket. Yeah, I wanted to catch sunset, which is supposed to happen there in five minutes, but the clouds is like. Um, you can tell. Or if not, you, if you can tell, it's actually really, really like yellow there, so I'm guessing the sun is behind the clouds. And okay, I'm now going to switch back to the um, iPhone and see how it feels like to just walk with this and walk around with it. interesting I'm actually filming with the back camera on my iPhone and the front I mean like I flipped it so it's like you're facing me on the DJI Osmo pocket okay look at this looking down oh someone is filming as well and like they have like okay like a side-by-side -side comparison just to see how the camera fares now I'm talking to you and then now I'm talking to you yes. I'm like walking up slope that's why it's like I'm panting <gasps> okay we're just gonna go all the way to the end to see the sunset so oh my gosh it's so dark <laughs> My gosh, the scenery behind me is just awesome. Like, I love the sea. One of my favorite things is the sea. I can tell like instantly that the DJI Osmo Pocket doesn't do well in darkness. Yeah, it takes a while to adjust, whereas the iPhone just up the ISO like hell. <laughs> yeah. Going down, you can tell. Woo! 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 Almost fell. Yeah, anyway, big shout out to my beautiful friend, Sushi. For loaning this to me. I think I see the place where everyone takes photo at, at. filming. Ooh. Look, testing. Yeah, so the cool thing is with the DJI Osmo Pocket, I can constantly film at 4K60 without like like having to change camera because like the entire thing just turns around and flip towards me whereas for my iPhone like what you can see now I'm actually filming using the rear camera and I don't like to use the rear camera to film myself because I can't see myself wow it's pretty it's pretty cute Woo. okay I'm gonna flip back that is where the Sun should be but there's no Sun because um, the clouds are blocking everything yeah we're gonna try to hit there that way, so it'll be fun. Okay, let's do it.
there were the sunset at the back like if there's a sunset here um you you'd see it but right now there isn't a sunset so what the hell like <laughs> anymore i prefer the iphone because firstly it adjusts automatically but like back right now my background is just like so super exposed i feel like the dji osmo pocket actually keeps more details of the background so that's kind of good okay i'm gonna put you guys down and take out my sony camera hi okay i need lights okay this currently is what i'm filming on i plugged the dji osmo pocket into my iphone and i'm filming on my iphone camera as well as the um, DJI Osmo Pocket. The good thing about the DJI Osmo Pocket is that I can instantly, without pausing my video at all, flip the camera, like simply triple tapping it. And I'm filming myself! And I'm filming myself! I love the color on the iPhone, especially with um, the lighting, but I'm not too sure about like the one on the DJI Osmo Pocket just because like it's smaller and I can't really see exactly what I'm filming but like I like the color and everything on my iPhone let me know what you guys think um, but yeah we're just going to take a few more walks down the boardwalk and let you guys see what it's like with the low light <laughs> capabilities let's take a look okay I'll see you I'll see you there oh I'd say the iPhone fares quite well I like it I, I like it I actually really like it okay this is the dog test very oh crap it's it's gonna rain oh my gosh i'm scared now say hi to the camera in front of us here we go this is my baby we're filming okay we're gonna just steal the lights a bit okay let's see how it bears okay do it like that so that we have like a constant stream of light there's a facial tracking thing on the DJI Osmo Pocket, so that's pretty cool. And because all of this is handheld, so my phone will be super shaky. <laughs> if you guys can see what I'm doing right now, it's hilarious. And I think the audio quality sucks right now. I'm just like walking f past like this board walk thing to and fro, to and fro. So <laughs> at least like there's no one around so that I don't feel so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, stop it, Mindy, stop it. But yeah, I love kicking out with new tech stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys like it too. Okay. Hey guys, so I just finished editing the stuff and I saw all the footage and this is what I have to say. Three things I'm going to cover. First is what I like about this. Second is what I don't like about the DJI Osmo Pocket. And third is who should get it. Should you get it? Will I get it? So things that I like about the DJI Osmo Pocket. First is how easy it is to get stabilized shots without any effort. Basically, the gimbal and the camera is already in your hands. It's all packaged into that tiny little setup. So it's so simple to just achieve that stable shot. Second, audio quality. I was actually kind of surprised at how good the audio quality is. I have owned GoPros before and the mic in those little cameras really really didn't sound good at all. I did not expect DJI to have such good mics in the setup. However, it does not do well under windy conditions. When the wind just blasts in my face, the of the wind. You can barely hear my voice and that is when a dedicated mic with those dead cats thing that you stick on top of it would come in useful so that it blocks out or it reduces the wind noise. And I just love how super cute and tiny the gimbal is. It's so easy to grip. It feels very natural to just hold it and just film yourself or film the environment. So that's something I really like about it. With the Pro Mode turned on, you can film in 4K 60fps so you can achieve really 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 good cinematic shots with those and you can adjust everything else like ISO, white balance and what I love most is how easily it connects with the iPhone with just like 
you just have to click it in and it's done. The app launches by itself, you can go nuts with the settings, it's up to you, it's so easy and so convenient, you don't have to go through the settings in Bluetooth to connect it. It makes a really good extension of the phone. The native iPhone camera app cannot achieve this. You can definitely record in 4K 60fps, but you cannot mess around with the other settings like white balance, ISO. You will only be able to do that if you get like third-party apps like Lightroom and... I can't remember the app. And in order to get stabilized shots on the iPhone, you need an extra gimbal on your hand and it just makes a whole process more complicated and less convenient. And so, convenience and functionality wise, I would say DJI Osmo Pocket outweighs the iPhone X. The Osmo Pocket wins. Color on the Osmo Pocket is actually not that bad. And when it's in the day, you can actually achieve pretty good colors and I kind of feel like you don't even need to do any color correction. The color science is actually pretty good in the day where there's a lot of light. It actually manages to keep a lot of details in the dark um, and with a bit of lighting, it actually makes the image looks pretty good and I think with a bit of color correction, you can actually achieve a very, very nice image. So next, what are the things that I don't like about this camera? Firstly, it doesn't do well in the dark. I haven't really messed around with the ISO in the pro mode settings but I was on auto mode most of the time when I was filming and it just doesn't do very well in the dark. But I feel like this can be easily solved by getting like extra lightings. Nowadays there are so many portable lighting options so you This is my favorite light. It's the best I swear. Look at this. So freaking small and look at me. <laughs> and second, the Osmo Pocket is not waterproof. So guys, do not bring it underwater to film action sports or think that you can film in the rain. And this is where the iPhone and GoPro stands out because both of them are waterproof. So you don't have to worry when rain hits or when you want to bring it underwater with you to film whatever you want to film. I was super scared when I was out filming because Osmo Pocket is not mine and I wanted to film more but it was raining and so I cannot film because it was going to rain. I had to protect it. So just be beware, beware of that fact. And the Osmo Pocket feels very delicate to touch. When I was actually handling it, I felt like this pressure to be really, really careful with it so that I do not hit anything. Basically, the Osmo Pocket is one big motor with a lot of moving parts. So I am really afraid of like accidentally hitting something and the, the thing just breaks apart. That, that's just what I'm most afraid of. And I feel like you always have to remember to put it back nicely into the case before you throw it back into your backpack. On the other hand, the iPhone is always in your hand, you just have to flip it out. It's not even a flip screen. Turn it on and just take pictures and it's done. It's quicker. And I have to say, I feel safer with the iPhone in my hands as compared to the DJI Osmo Pocket in my hands. It feels more breakable than the iPhone. Finally, the important question is, should you get it? Would I get it? If you want to achieve stabilized shots with a really, really simple and light setup, I think the DJI Osmo Pocket would be something that you might consider. And I think that with just a bit of color correction, you can come up with really, really good results and create really cinematic videos. I haven't actually had a chance to compare the Osmo Pocket with the iPhone 11 Pro or the other latest smartphones yet, but I kind of feel like the stabilization that the gimbal gives you is actually hard to replicate in any of the OIS in the other smartphones. But correct me if I'm wrong. So would I get the Osmo Pocket for myself? 100% yes, eventually. When I travel more and when I want to create more travel videos for you guys, I would definitely, definitely invest in the Osmo Pocket because I feel like it is that good, that convenient. It really does achieve amazing results. I love the features, I love the convenience. I know it's delicate but you just got to take care of the baby. I love tech and I love having portable, really really portable filming devices. I've owned a GoPro Hero 5 before but I got rid of it because I realized I didn't exactly use it as much as I hoped that I would. Having it mounted on your car while you drive through the mountains and like through your travels, that's super super cool. But there are so much accessories to take care of and it's not the most convenient to pair with the phone. And so I realized I rely on my phone more than the GoPro. Convenience is super important to me when it comes to really really mobile camera device and I feel like Osmo Pocket would definitely beat the GoPro in terms of convenience as well as functionality. It works as an extension of your phone 
and it's, it's just like you plug in and it works. You see whatever you are filming on your phone screen immediately the moment you plug it into your phone. So it's like that fast, it is that convenient, it is that awesome. Yes, ultimately it depends on what you need a camera for and what you use it for. Yeah, I do hope that this video actually helped you or <laughs> you enjoyed watching it. Um, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. I look forward to reading all of them and gosh guys, thank you for the 1k subs! <laughs> Yay! Okay, <laughs> really really happy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave me a thumbs up. I look forward to reading all your comments and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this because I would really 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 appreciate if you watch my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you again for the 1k subs. It means a lot, a lot to me that you guys are out there to support me. Okay, I shall end this off. Okay, have a really, really good day. Stay minty and cherry. Goodbye.